Uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for the organizer for inviting me to uh, talk uh, in this uh, exciting uh, school. Uh, okay. oh, so. And uh, so I will talk about something about the 4D n equal 1 supersymmetric localization. Actually, uh, actually 4D n equal 1 uh, supersymmetric gauge theory is uh, a bit difficult to uh, consider uh, using a localization, but uh, there are some uh, examples to use a localization technique. So I will uh, comment on something. So first of all, I will uh, actually uh, for, for the n equal 1 case, uh, there are many works uh, done by uh, Cyborg and Cyborg Witten or, uh, and of course Schiffman, Weinstein, Saharoff. There are many uh, nice uh, exact results uh, you are uh, obtained using the holomorphy of the superpotential. Okay. So I will first review, I mean, so in a flat space, Lorentz ampersand. Okay, so I will introduce uh, what's uh, uh, gauging condensation here, okay, or something, some other things. First, uh, to fix an uh, notation, uh, oh sorry, beta two. Uh, so the algebra for the for the n equal one, there are no uh, central charges, so there is only the uh, a Suji generator and the uh, translation. Okay, and then uh, non trivial commutation is like uh, okay, have a fun. Okay, so this is, yeah. And Okay, this is uh, uh, my normalization. Okay, and uh, I assume uh, you understand the uh, some text. I mean, result of the uh, given a textbook by the Wes Bakker. So, so. So in a, for the n equal one case, uh, there's a notion of a color superfield. It's and Okay, this is a definition of the chiral superfield, as you know. And
Hmm. Okay, so color superfield contains a complex scalar and a wire spinner and a auxiliary field F. Okay. And uh, okay, super potential is a uh, So this is the invariant, OK? But there are no uh, anti-color superfield. Anti-color is defined by the dagger of this one. If we include this one, then the, this is not the invariant. Then should be hormone. And then then the in a low energy effective action, it's a very very complicated in use in usury uh, because of the quantum correction. But uh, still, this should be holomorphic function. And uh, this is uh, a very restrictive because the holomorphic function is very restrictive. And also, in this case, for example, this phi contains some uh, symmetry uh, index or something like that. Then we can construct a phi phi dagger or something like that and contract its uh, index. Then it becomes a singlet of the index. Okay? Then symmetry doesn't uh, uh, constrain anything about the uh, dependence of the phi phi dagger, OK? So, but uh, for the holomorphic case, only the phi appears. There's no phi dagger, so we cannot construct a singlet for that. Then the symmetry constraint the uh, effective potential very, very much. And then we can uh, have uh, some exact result using this holomorphic because of the uh, symmetry and uh, some limiting procedure. Uh, constrains the low energy effect action very, very much. Okay. Okay. So this is the idea of the holomorphy, as you know, probably. Okay. And uh, okay. So okay. So then the. We have an uh, exact result for this low energy effect action. I mean, at, or more precisely, in a, uh, this uh, low energy uh, super potential in a low energy effect action can be, or sometimes can be determined. Sometimes cannot be, but uh, sometimes we can do. Okay. And next, uh, important uh, things is a chiral ring. Or Okay. This notion, I mean, this notion are not, uh, I mean, special for the 4D n equal 1, but of course uh, for the uh, 2D 2 comma 2 or 3D n equal 2 n equal 1, uh, almost uh, any theory has this structure, I mean, th th this holomorphic structure. So we can use this idea for any, almost any uh, supersymmetric theories. And this coloring is also a very general idea that, that is the uh, lowest component of phi. Satisfies um, 
Okay. Uh, here we denote uh, this uh, Suji generator by uh, decomposing this that into the delta epsilon, delta epsilon bar. I mean, uh, uh, okay. And uh, this is for the this 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 epsilon bar. Okay. Then it vanishes, acting on this phi. Phi is the lowest component of the scalar field. OK, because the uh, Suji transformation is this one. I mean, from, from this uh, trans, I mean, super field, we can find Suji transformation is this. So there's no epsilon bar. OK, so, so phi is, uh, I mean, phi is uh, delta closed. OK. Phi is delta closed, and also uh, this uh, d mu phi. Derivative of the phi is given by the delta bar delta because the delta bar uh, acting on phi vanishes. So commutative of this one gives a uh, translation. Okay. So delta mu phi is uh, identifies the delta bar delta phi. Okay. So this is uh, this means uh, this uh, phi delta mu phi is uh, delta bar exact. So if we consider the cohomology class of this data bar, then uh, this, uh, I mean, there, I mean, uh, some dependence on the coordinate doesn't matter. Okay. So this is called chiral ring. Okay. For n equal one superfluid, but uh, of course we can use this one to the uh, to the n equal two comma two or any other thing. Okay. okay. Next, uh, ah, okay, mm, okay. So then, ah, okay. Sorry, uh, to be precise. Uh, ah, sorry. Because uh, the remu uh, com uh, translation and uh, committed, I mean, uh, three generator are commute each other. I, I, I don't, I done that. Uh. So uh, phi is a uh, uh, chiral field. I mean, of the component of the chiral field. Then delta mu phi is also a uh, chiral field. Okay. So we can write down this one. So okay. So phi, sorry, phi. So phi x is identified as a phi zero. So with this delta bar exact. Okay, so this gives you a chiral ring in a general n equal one case series. Okay, and then okay, we consider the um, insertion of this one. I mean, the n phi to two. This one. Okay. So this is a uh, uh, position independent because uh, actually this can be done correct. And of course, uh, this correlator or the vacuum is invariant under the supersymmetry transformation. So this vanishes. Okay. 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 Then using uh, this expansion to this one, then uh, this correlator is phi. Uh, here, this phi one phi two. This insertion, all insertions are chiral in a chiral ring. Okay. So then the committed, I mean, correlation function of the chiral ring is uh, uh, coordinate independent. Okay. So, so this is a. Uh, we can change this x to other places everywhere, okay? And if we take x to goes to infinity, and then uh, the super, uh, super sorry, 
uh, is assumed to be uh, uh, assume, assumed to be uh, cluster uh, decomposition. Okay, if we if we insert uh, uh, some operator into here and very far away and uh, another universe or something somewhere, then there is no correlation. Okay, so it's factorized. Okay, so then this these are coordinate independent. So oh, this correlator becomes. Uh, Factorized. Okay. So for the this uh, color ring or this uh, color of color field, uh, if we know the this condensate for the gauge invariant operator, then we have uh, all information. Okay. Okay. So so important thing is uh, this one point function for the R4 case. Uh, here, using a cluster decomposition. Are you OK with that? Uh, here? Uh, yes, that's true. Uh, actually, yeah. Actually, in uh, here, uh, this uh, correlation function can have a uh, non-zero value for the uh, non-compact case. Okay, and uh, that case, uh, uh, actually, uh, and then uh, usually uh, this is non-vanishing for the anomalous U1 case. Okay, like a supersymmetric QCD or user supersymmetric gauge theory, not conformal one. Yeah, of course, a conformal field theory we cannot give. Uh, uh, expectation value. So this is for the R uh, one comma three or something like that. Conformal, yes, yeah, because of the uh, symmetry, yes, yeah, usually, yes. But, mm, but yeah. <coughs> Okay, so finally, I I will explain a bit about uh, ODN one super QCD uh, very very briefly. Uh, this is, uh, uh, for example, if you don't know much about this, uh, you will consult uh, this uh, famous uh, review by Intrigate and Cyberg. Okay. This theory is a gauge group is SUNC and uh, NF fundamental flavors. Fundamental means the fundamental definition of SUNC. Okay. And then the chiral superfield for this theory. This uh, is a flavor index. Uh, we did not, I did not write down the uh, gauge index. But, but uh, this is a joint. This is a uh, fundamental. This is fun anti-fundamental. Okay, this is called uh, n equal one super PCD in general. Okay, then the action of this theory uh, is. Uh, And uh, 
Okay, this is action. Okay, here uh, this one contains the f squared. I mean, yeah, I'm just coupling and also f f star f. I mean, topological term. And ta this tau includes the uh, I mean theta angle and also uh, gauge coupling constant of the Yamir theorem. Okay. Okay, and then this uh, uh, have. Uh, uh, 1 over d square times f square plus uh, theta times f f tilde as a topological term, sorry. So in the supersymmetric gauge theory, these uh, twos are combined into the one super field, okay? And this is mass, sorry. So this is, uh, this is mass term, and uh, we can give uh, only the mass term by the, this q, q tilde combination, not a q, q dagger or something like that. This is a holomorphic combination. Okay, so this m is also holomorphic. Okay, we don't, we cannot introduce a uh, uh, real, I mean q, in a user QCD, there is a mass like a q, 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 q dagger or something like that, but uh, we cannot introduce that. Here, we into, uh, keeping supersymmetry, we keep this one. So we need a q and also q tilde. It's a different chiral superfield. Okay. And, uh, so gauge invariant, uh, what is gauge, gauge invariant chiral superfield of this theory? The Mason. And uh, I, I don't know. M tilde is uh, given by Q, Q tilde. And also there is a barium. But, uh, it's like a Q, Q times epsilon uh, R1 to Rmc, or something like that. But uh, I will not explain it. And uh, there is uh, another one that is a uh, gauge, you know, or glue ball. Glue ball or gauge, you no know, bilinear. This is given by the sorry, trace W alpha, W alpha. Okay. So this contains a. Uh, sorry. This one. Yes. Yes. This one. Q. Oh, sorry. 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 Children and barium. Sorry. Barium and uh, each. Sorry. There is a. Sorry. There is a B children for. And W contains a uh, fermium as a lowest component. Okay. So this component contains a uh, trace lambda alpha, lambda alpha. So this is a fermium bilinear. Okay. And uh, in a user QCD, oh yeah, uh, user QCD, I mean in a in a world, fermium bilinear are uh, often condensed. Uh, Sometimes it's called chiral condensate. <laughs> and uh, sometimes so this uh, uh, 
gauge in the bilinear condensate, I mean non-zero eigenvalues. And to compute it for the realistic theory is very, very difficult. But uh, for this uh, type of supersymmetric case, uh, we can compute this uh, gauge in the condensate. Exactly. Actually, uh, to, to compute this one, instanton is not sufficient. Instanton have, uh, I mean, uh, two NC zero mode, but this has a two, only two. So instanton cannot give a non-zero value for this one. Okay. So this is a purely strong coupling effect. If we have a non-zero expectation value for this S. Okay. And as I explained, uh, we, oh. Uh, because uh, correlation function factorizes, Because the correlation function factorizes, uh, if we know the one point function, then it's sufficient. Okay. Oh, okay. And uh, in this case, uh, It's not conformal. Uh, if, uh, yeah, if, this, uh, if NF equal to NC, it's con uh, sometimes, it's, uh, uh, sorry, NF equal to 3 NC, uh, it becomes conformal, but uh, usually it's not conformal, I mean, there is an uh, anomaly, or uh, the beta function is non-zero, scaling anomaly. So when the beta function is uh, given by this one. And uh, usually we define lambda Actually, using uh, a holomorphy for the coupling constant tau, uh, this tau, tau is in a superpotential. So it uh, should be holomorphic. And uh, also, theta is a uh, uh, topological term, I mean, theta I mean, uh, in a topological term. And uh, theta should be periodic. Theta should be equal to theta plus 2 pi. Okay. So using that one, this uh, beta function should be becomes one loop exact. So this is, I, I said this is one loop beta function, but this is the exact uh, beta function for the supersymmetric case. I, I will not explain about that, but uh, it's known. And uh, then uh, I will not write down the symmetry of this theory. And there is uh, some uh, flavor symmetry, U1 uh, symmetry. And uh, as this. and using uh, this anomalous symmetry, also we can fix the form of the superpotential. This is a famous one. It's uh, Yes. Okay, sorry. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Localization technique is more, I mean, general. In, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, historical. Or, or at least uh, this is very famous on and uh, this is uh, in some sense very uh, strong. I mean, this method. I mean, holomorphy method is very very strong. And uh, it's uh, like a magic, uh, as the cyber said. So this is uh, from symmetry. And uh, so this is uh, uh, symmetric. And uh, the flavor symmetry and also uh, uh, anomalous U1 R symmetry. Uh, because this lambda, <coughs> we can give us, uh, uh, some transformation rule for this lambda for the anomalous U1, uh, something like that. Then uh, we fix this one. And actually, this coefficient is not fixed by the symmetry, but we should do the some uh, some computation like an instant on at uh, somewhere, but uh, or using a cyber witness theory. But anyway, we can f fix uh, this uh, uh, numerical factor by s some some way, and then the super potential is given by this. Okay, so. So then integrating out uh, Mij, the meson field. Ah, sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is for the NHP. NC. Yeah. Four. Azimuth. By. Then from this super potential, oh, this is a F term uh, condition. Uh, given by this combination from this equation okay, for large mass. If is it that NC should be greater than oh, <laughs> oh. sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then inserting this one to W effective potential, then we found So inserting uh, this M into this super potential, we have uh, this one, okay? This is just a computation. And then we have uh, this one, if we define this one. This one is a uh, 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 dynamical scale, I mean, defined by this one uh, for the low energy super ion mills. Because here, mass is very large. So the quarks, much better, Q and Q children are decoupled completely. Then the Lamiel theory becomes a Yamil theory. Okay, so then the one loop uh, effect for the Lamiel Yamil theory is given by the NF equals zero case. This one, and this is called uh, uh, matching condition for the dynamical scale. And uh, this is it. I mean, this is the exact result. So uh, this is the low energy dynamical scale of the super Yamil. Okay. Okay. So then we have uh, this effective superpotential for the low energy effective action. And uh, first of all, uh, I should notice that there is one over NC here. That means there is an NC branch. Okay. So this theory has a NC vacuum because there is an NC branch. Okay. 
So actually, we can compute the Witten index. I mean, it's like a localization computation. Uh, I've, I've not explained about that, but uh, we can compute the Witten index of this theory on a torus. Then we have a NC back here. So this is consistent with uh, Witten index computation, first of all. OK. So this is a result. Then the, OK. We can, com we can compute gauging condensation from uh, that result. Uh, that is given by trace number 4 minus 16 by squared. OK. So maybe uh, it's a. Uh, it uh, difficult to get this one from that one. Actually, to do this, we need to lift uh, the gauge coupling constant tau to the chiral superfield. And uh, introduce uh, some auxiliary uh, field like this one. And, uh, Consider this as something auxiliary field, and uh, only the this tau gives a ex expectation value. Okay, so this is uh, yeah, yes. Then uh, we can so this is also a uh, some uh, technique to compute uh, 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 some some frontiers. Okay, to some coupling constant, I mean, lifting some coupling constant into the chiral superfield. The chiral superfield should be holomorphic. I mean, uh, holomorphic, I mean, superpotential should be holomorphically dependent on the chiral superfield. Okay, so then that means this tau is also appear in a chiral, I mean, holomorphic. Then, log z. Uh, log z means, uh, okay, so. Uh, if it, uh, so this is trace lambda lambda because uh, uh, as I wrote down, the super potential contains a tau times ww, okay? And the tau contains this uh, theta theta term, f tau. So f tau coupling to the lambda lambda, lowest component of the ww, okay? So if we derive this f tau, then it gives this one, okay? And then I, we know, now we know what is log z in a low energy effective potential. Okay? So, of course, uh, pass integral, after the pass integral, so this is given. So, this should be derivative of the uh, effective super potential, uh, this one. Okay? So, then uh, derivative this f tau is a derivative with tau uh, for the uh, lambda. So then, effect, okay. Then, okay, so this lambda is uh, related by this relation, lambda and tau, okay. So log lambda, uh, okay, uh, log lambda is proportional to tau, okay. So in uh, tau, it uh, becomes a chiral superfield, OK? Then derivative of the tau gives a derivative of the lambda. And for this case, derivative of this one gives a, ah, sorry, uh, this one. Derivative of this one gives a, this super, ah, sorry. Oh, this is not true. OK, sorry. You also promote lambda. Uh, sorry? You, you also promote lambda. Lambda? 
Uh, sorry, lambda is a, uh, lambda is a chiral superfield. Lambda is the lowest component of the W alpha, I mean. Ah, capital, ah, okay, yeah, right, 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 right. Actually, yes, yeah, because of this relation, tau is uh, identified as the lambda, so if tau is a color superfluid, then lambda is a color superfluid, or something like that. Lambda zero is the lowest component of the X. Ah, sorry. Lambda zero is the lowest component of the X. Okay, ah, uh, well, maybe, uh, so I, I, I start from the, ah, uh, ah, uh, Super QCD, but uh, we can consider the uh, NF equal zero case. Uh, even that case, uh, we uh, this should be correct. Uh, I mean, from the super yam, just a super yam theory without uh, a flavor. Then the effective action should be this one. With this lambda zero is given by the original. I mean, yam is action. Okay. And uh, then the original bear action can be lifted to the tau theta. Then uh, we can. Uh, consider such a computation. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, but uh, it's not clear to me, it's not clear to me why uh, we can't really handle how from chiral Because we are integrating over V, the real superfluid, not over W. So that is not really an F term, the, the, the one with W alpha, W alpha. Because it, in V is a D term. Um, v. In V, the real superfield, if we express the, the superfield strength uh -huh. in terms of the real superfield, uh, which we are really integrating in the half integral, uh -huh. that, uh -huh. that is a deter. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, what we consider just uh, tau as uh, this uh, 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 this chiral superfield, and we uh, we uh, think uh, I mean we uh, pretend to uh, uh, pass integrate out this theta also. But uh, oh, for example, we uh, uh, we give uh, some weak coupling uh, uh, kinetic term for this tau. Then this can be a free theory with this uh, uh, this expectation value. Okay. Then uh, nothing is nothing is different. Tau is just uh, like a spectator. I mean, just a <laughs> just a trick or something. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, so yeah, actually, there's no. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, we need uh, a kinetic term for this tau. It is a, uh, uh, I mean, not. Uh, it is a k lab potential, right? That is true. But uh, yeah, uh, coupling of the tau to the w is a tau w w only. Yes. Okay. Yes. I want. Uh, it's not only, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So for, for this case, we can const uh, compute this quantities. Or uh, maybe from this quantities, we can deconstruct uh, this superpotential uh, using an inverse direction. Okay? Uh, it's called the integrated in method uh, technique or something like that. Okay, so if we know the gauge in condensation in you know, some theory with massive something, then we can deconstruct uh, almost everything from this one. I mean, like uh, M, Expe expectation value of the meson is given by this one. With uh, uh, from this super potential, so from this one we can have uh, this one. Then we compute every expectation value of the coloring. So it gives uh, uh, almost all information about the exact results. Okay, but uh, you may think uh, 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 this is. Uh, I mean, what you know about uh, this theory is probably the cyborg dual. Okay, <laughs> so actually. I, it's, uh, I mentioned about the cyborg, cyborg dual. It's uh, for the, this window, as, as you know. Actually, this is for the NF, is this sign C. And for this region, uh, this is, of, of course, different from this one. Then the at low energy. As you know, okay, this is high non trivial <laughs> found by or claimed by Cyborg. And moreover,
I think uh, you you know about this fact, but uh, uh, not fact, but this claim, but. Uh, So here, this M is a, uh, uh, this uh, theory has a, I mean, some, uh, some flavors, usually denoted by Q and Q tilde, I mean, small, small little. So this M is completely different from this Q and Q tilde, okay? This is just a singlet, okay? In electric theory, this is a uh, meson. Uh, I mean, meson is a composite of the Q and Q tilde, okay? But here, this is completely different. Then if you consider this theory, this is very similar to the original uh, SN super QCD. But it, at low energy limit, uh, the theory should be same, okay? But uh, maybe this is called the cyborg dual, but it's not actually dual. Or maybe it's called the IR dual, but uh, it's not dual. Just uh, low energy theory is same. But uh, gain symmetry is different. So this is, ah, uh, oh sorry, NC. NC tilde is uh, so gain symmetry is different, but uh, it gives the same theory. So this is very surprising, uh, but uh, Cyber claims that one because of the some uh, symmetry matching and also uh, called the Tofut anomaly matching condition that it satisfies uh, these theories. Okay, so this is nice, uh, but uh, actually recently. Uh, because of the su uh, because of the super conformal index, then uh, people found actually these two theories have the same uh, super conformal index. Uh, this is a uh, very nice thing about that. I I probably I will talk about uh, that one. Okay. Okay, then I will move to the uh, localization. Okay. So, okay, no uh, question about that. Okay. I will summarize uh, what condition for the localization works. This condition is satisfied. I mean, action is invariant, and uh, it's the no anomaly, and uh, this is closed. I mean, Suji invariant. I mean, and also delta v is also invariant. Okay, this is the condition. 
And then we can say this one. Z is T independent. And also, if, uh, if this condition is satisfied, our at least there is some bound on this one for the bosonic part. Then we can take t goes to infinity limit and pass integral localized to phi zero. Phi zero is uh, given by this one. So this is uh, what uh, Francesco and uh, every uh, speaker <coughs> said. Okay. And uh, there is a canonical choice for this V for the supersymmetric gauge theory. This is important. <coughs> it's like that. Okay. Then. Okay, so then let us consider the n equal one case theory on S four. Actually, this case, uh, as agreed, uh, uh, explained, uh, we can construct uh, this. Uh, Supersymmetric gauge theory on this uh, S4 by using uh, supergravity. And also, uh, we can use uh, uh, n equal to S4 by piston. I mean, in general, we can construct a supersymmetric gauge theory on S4 uh, like uh, piston did. And then the by the projection to n equal 1. So and Super multiplet. Then we have a n equal one on S four. Sorry. This projection. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you do it? Uh, how do you do it? Actually, uh, uh, by I mean by hand. I mean <laughs> by hand. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we see. Yeah, consistent, of course. Yeah, there is a consistent. Actually, we have uh, this uh, uh, n equal one S four, and uh, actually we have an uh, explicit three transformation, mm -hmm. and then it's closed, uh, so it's consistent three transformation, and we can uh, uh, we can have uh, some supersymmetric uh, action for that three uh, transformation. Actually, we have uh, I mean like a neta method. Uh, we have a consistent n equal one uh, transformation. So after the projection of supergravity. I don't know. Actually, uh, here it, I, I do not. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, this uh, yeah, this method can be worked without supergravity. Just uh, just uh, yeah, n equal to one is four. Uh, then just uh, break on this so this works. Yeah, and of course, uh, yeah, there is a supergravity theory, so it also works. But uh, yeah, about the problem eh, is. Uh, is, uh, as we said, probably this is not unitary on S4, so it's maybe not good. I mean, for in a low range version. But actually, in on S4, uh, actually, unitarity is not uh, uh, important. Uh, actually, on S4, there is no notion of unitarity because of the no big rotation. Okay, so maybe the po position, uh, sorry, reflection positivity is important, but uh, maybe it's not. I mean, we can forget about that. Just uh, consider the to as a toy model uh, or just a field theory as, as we did. Actually, we don't care about uh, almost, uh, don't care about the real standard model or something like that. But so maybe we can consider this one. And uh, actually, we have a supersymmetry. Then we can apply this procedure. So this, is, this works always. OK. So it, it's nice. But the uh, problem is uh, this case.
problem is this is this is violated. Okay. So actually, this canonical choice uh, seems uh, delta lambda dagger times uh, delta lambda. So it should be positive definite. But uh, as uh, people, I mean, uh, Francesco Guido, uh, if you want to ex explain, this dagger is not a dagger. I mean, Hamishan conjugate. This is something, some, some operation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, and a uh, and, uh, user theory case, uh, I mean, or yeah, S3 cross S1 or on S3 or S2 case, uh, we can uh, choose what is dagger here to satisfy this one because of the probably the unitarity in a uh, rotation version. Okay, but this case, uh, uh, at least uh, it's not, I mean, at least it's not easy to find uh, this delta lambda dagger to satisfy this one. Actually, I don't have such things, okay. So, in this case, uh, this uh, localization works, uh, but it does not localize to the saddle point. Okay, so, so it's maybe uh, uh, important, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not sure. But in this case, uh, what the uh, problem is a uh, killing vector. Uh, or oh, generalized killing vector. This is uh, given by this. Oh, sorry. Uh, so the, uh, sorry. And uh, this is a killing, killing spinner, or generalized killing spinner. And this is a killing vector. This is, is not there. Uh, OK. Uh, OK, this includes something, uh, some uh, spinner index or something like that. Or so, okay, so this is not the as you do are seeing of the n equal to 2. Like, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, this is the analog of the uh, n equal to 2 on S4. Yes. Uh, by the projection. Uh, projection means uh, we kill some, some Z or something like that. So uh, more, more precisely, maybe the Z should be uh, some projected one. Then this is should be complex, not real, by any choice. Okay. Actually, for n, if we have n equal to 2, then there is another type of generator. Then the combination of these two gives a real one. But uh, half of them, I mean, projected to n equal 1, then it doesn't give a real one. I mean, it's fairly com complex. Okay, so it's a complex rotation, something like that. So that, that doesn't, okay, yeah doesn't uh, make sense this positivity, probably. Okay. okay, so this is a situation for the Suji on S4. Okay. Maybe you try <laughs> to get a nice theory on this on S4. Uh, actually, many people probably try this one, but uh, um, probably no one succeed. It's nice. Uh, uh, passion, uh, nice closed forms of the passion function or Wilson loop or something like that. So. Sorry. Any, any, any equal one theory? Yes. Uh, this is about uh, supersymmetry, uh, supersymmetric transformation itself. Yeah, this is, uh, this doesn't depend on the super, I mean, the theory. I mean, matter content or the action, three level action or something like that. So this is a problem of the, this, uh, <laughs> this uh, uh, killing, probably this killing spinner, something. Yeah, as a, it's probably it's a related to non-unitarity or something like that. But I'm not sure. You, you, I, I don't know. You have a comment? Or? Yeah, you so are, are you going to use any sort of this or this? I am just pointing out. Uh, this general program. Are you going to use any code of super superior of uh, No, 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 no. This is, uh, yeah, sorry, this is, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. It's about, uh, yeah, or, oh, yeah. Actually, uh, you know, for this gauging condensation, I mean, all the program is uh, the strong coupling instant expansion by the Amati Konishi, uh, Roshi Veneziano. It's a very famous one. But it uh, probably doesn't give uh, a correct one. And this, that is related to this one, probably, on S4. 
I mean, instant expansion on S4, I mean. Uh, but it doesn't work. And probably, uh, well, seems doesn't work. Probably it's related to this, this doesn't work uh, in uh, this uh, localization problem. That is uh, my comment. But uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'd like to say this, yeah, actually this works in some sense. It's like a localized uh, some, something. So this is P independent. Maybe it uh, can be used uh, to get some information. Okay. Uh, not to localize, but uh, yeah, but uh, by now I don't know how to use uh, this one or how to use, uh, maybe there is something like a Higgs, lo uh, Higgs branch localization. We have uh, something nice one, but uh, I don't know. Actually, at least this doesn't work. This type canonical one doesn't work, probably. Yes. Okay. So this is, yeah. So actually, for the n equal one Suji theory on the, uh, uh, I mean, localization technique applied to the for the n equal two, for the n equal two Suji is a bit difficult. Okay. So some to some difficulties. But uh, only the yeah. Yes. For a three cross fun case, <laughs> it works. But actually yes. Uh, Okay, I, I will explain. Actually, there is uh, two choices for this manifold. I mean, for two different choices for the localization. But uh, consider the. First, I write down the transformation. Okay.
Okay. Okay, so what I wrote down is a Suji transformation for the flat space Euclidean version. So it's a bit diff uh, different from the Lorentzian bands. So, first of all, oh, sorry. So here, by doesn't mean dada. Okay, as usual. Actually, in a flat space, uh, this uh, uh, sorry notation symmetry. There. So four, it's like SU two cross SU two, and the lambda and the lambda bar have a different uh, SU two uh, indices. So it's a completely different uh, spinner. So we cannot identify. Uh, this lambda dagger and lambda bar. So it's completely different. In a low length case, it's not but Okay, then on S3 cross S1. So this is actually uh, already <laughs> explained, but uh, maybe. So this dm is a co covariant derivative, okay? So actually, for the vector multisplit, uh, to obtain the supersymmetry on S3 cross S1 is very easy. Actually, just uh, replacing uh, uh, this to this. I mean, including covariant derivative. Um, and that means, uh, sorry, uh, this includes uh, uh, something, uh, a spin connection also, okay? This includes spin connection. And vm is, uh, oh, sorry. And here, Q is a uh, R charge. So uh, here we consider the as U1 R invariant theory. So this T is a Euclidean time. So this is a constant background field for the R symmetry. Okay. Okay. Then we can check this transformation. It satisfies, uh, I mean, commutation relation. It closed under the gauge symmetry, local Lorentz plus R symmetry, something like. That. Okay. So this is consistent supersymmetric uh, transformation rule on the S3 cross S1. If we replace, just replace this one. You can check that uh, by hand. And uh, I think, uh, I think I believe, <laughs> I not checked, but this is same as, uh, as Guido explained from the supergravity. Yeah. Actually, to get uh, supersymmetry theory, uh, the two, I mean, Different method. It's one is uh, using supergravity. One is uh, just uh, called the uh, Neta method. Just uh, construct a consistent supersymmetry. Just uh, I mean, includes uh, order by order. Uh, order by order means uh, one over Kerberos. Uh, sorry, Kerberos. Uh, sorry, uh, Kerberos expansion. Okay. In this case, uh, Kerberos expansion. I mean, Neta method terminate uh, by replacing this. One. Uh, this here, Q, yeah, Q is uh, here. We, I assume R charge is uh, uh, no anomalous. R, yeah, R charge is a symmetry. I mean, like uh, this one, it's not anomalous. I mean, measure is invariant. Lie, 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 lie. That is, uh, yeah, actually the problem, but uh, actually uh, sometimes, at least uh, in, a, uh, in a cyborg zero case, I mean, conformal window, actually, uh, there's a uh, something accidental uh, R symmetry enhancement or something like that. So yeah, this can be applied. Yeah, that case. 
And actually, for the gauge in the condensation, actually, we use uh, not RS3, but uh, large area cement of S3, I mean, R3 cross S1 case. Uh, then uh, I, we can apply uh, something like a localization method to compute the gauge in condensation. Any? Okay. Okay, this. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes, uh, actually, for my case, uh, actually, for I, I constructed the uh, supersymmetric gauge on S5, N equal 1. Yes, on S5. In that case, I used, uh, we used uh, supergravity and also uh, Neta method, and we checked it's the same. But uh, in this case, I, I personally do not uh, check that. But OK, uh, sorry. So here. So, so B is, is it looks like B is uh, Q are imaginary engaged with the process. Q are imaginary. You have DM, DXM, you can minus. I, yeah. That's true. Yeah, yes. Yeah, this is a correct one. In a Euclidean, sir. Yes. Lorentzian is different, but this in Euclidean, this is correct. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> in a Euclidean case, many things are strange. We, anyway, uh, to, yeah. And uh, already. So here uh, we normalize uh, the radius of this S1 as 1. And the uh, radius of this one is as beta. And also, uh, of course, uh, is not These two are completely different, independent heat. An uh, independent parameter. And uh, actually, epsilon, of course, uh, should uh, be killing spinner or generalized killing spinner. Always time and direction. Okay. Uh, actually, we fix a Z2 symmetry or something like that. Okay, this is uh, in some sense simple. Actually, for the chiral multiplet, it's a bit complicated, but uh, for the, I mean, yeah. For the vector multiplet, it's simple. Like, it's almost, I mean, the form is look like a flat one. But of course, this is completely different from the flat cell. OK. Uh, And uh, yeah. for the supersymmetric action, uh, we can write down the supersymmetric Yam Mills action. I mean, Very familiar one. Of course, in a super field, this comes from a WW, W alpha, W alpha. But uh, here, of course, uh, we do not have a super field on S3 cross S1. So we need to write down its component field. Uh, and uh, sorry. Plus, my This is Suzy invariant. Suzy means uh, the transformation I like wrote down.
and uh, this is a bit a bit different formulation, uh, but uh, we uh, define the complexified gauge coupling uh, for this case also. There's no holomorphy notion in this case, uh, but uh, still we uh, define this one. Okay, then the localization. So, okay. So, this case, we are the canonical term. Okay, so probably there is uh, two choices essentially. Essentially, for essentially two choices. So to do the localization, we need to uh, specify the what is delta. Delta is. Uh, uh, actually, there is a, a four. I mean, there are several supersymmetric generators. Oh, and we can choose a, a one combination with supersymmetric generator. Okay, that combination means uh, choose uh, epsilon and epsilon bar, uh, satisfying this one. Okay, there are s several solution, but uh, we if we need ch choose uh, one choice, uh, then <coughs> with this canonical term, uh, delta is fixed and uh, localization is fixed. Yeah, but uh, okay. Then this case, then F plus <coughs> uh, so this is a unself dual part and this is a self dual part. So uh, actually, okay. okay. So if both of them are non-zero, it's independent. Uh, then the distance is like uh, oh sorry plus So adding these terms, this gives uh, uh, these terms. If a uh, uh, cosine is the same, but if the cosine is different, uh, then this gives a uh, uh, linear combination of the f squared and f tilde the theta term. Okay, at uh, the theta term, but uh, the coefficient is uh, not real, imaginary theta term. Anyway, this gives uh, this one. Okay, then the this case. Uh, 
southern point. Southern point is trivial because the theta term is nothing. I mean, uh, because. So this gives a free theory. On trivial bucket. So this is almost trivial. I mean, the computation is almost trivial. Just uh, compute the free theory. Okay. Uh, forget about the interaction. I just compute the spectrum on the S1 cross S3. It's very uh, at least uh, it's straightforward and easy. Okay. Okay. And uh, this case, uh, at least, uh, uh, okay. So uh, no local observable. Maybe uh, I'm not sure. Anyway. And uh, there is no supersymmetric Wilson loop. And uh, then the partition function, uh, what we will compute usually is a partition function. Okay, that is called superconformal index. Okay. So for this case, uh, the hmm, localization is very trivial. Just a uh, computer free theory. Okay. So it's like a Witten index. This is for PIM. This is for uh, PIM mills, but uh, if you increase the uh, color much better, uh, of course uh, this is the same. I mean. Ah, for, for the ah, sorry, uh, for the chiral multiple also, uh, it's trivial. I mean, uh, 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 we should give a phi because if uh, I mean alpha is non-zero, then uh, uh, subtle point uh, include uh, something. So it's yeah, the computation is totally around the trivial vacuum. Uh, if we include the chiral multiple. Yes, yeah, e yes, yes, but uh, yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but probably superconformal index is uh, not so useful for the non-conformal field theory. But anyway, the name. Ah, name. Ah, no, name. No, 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 no. Ah, why this is a superconformal? Uh, no, 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 what was the hesitation? Ah, hesitation. Ah, actually, we need a U1R symmetry. Yes. Yeah, and that is a. Uh, yeah. Yes, that is uh, uh, yeah, usually related to superconformal symmetry uh, in a low energy or something like that. Yeah. So then, yeah, like uh, gauge in a condensation case or something like that. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not so useful. <laughs> or uh, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, yeah. At least it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't have a, uh, yeah, mm, yes. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, at least uh, uh, some uh, non, I mean, non anomalous U1 uh, because of uh, this, uh, this one. Yes, so, mm. yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. And uh, then this case, this case is a uh, very, I mean, tricky or very strange, but anyway. We can consider this choice. Eh? And then, OK, that means uh, this delta, I mean, with this choice, uh, epsilon is 0. And then, uh, delta lambda equals 0. I mean, this is a uh, lowest. Uh, 
Eu vou se compor um cara se for W alpha. Ok, that means that this is closed. Eh? Uh, the, are you saying that epsilon bar is nowhere vanishing or that it's non zero? Uh, just non zero. I mean, uh, it's. It can vanish. Yeah, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, just no, nowhere vanishing. Actually, in this case is also. I mean, I mean. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this epsilon doesn't have uh, any uh, uh, fixed point. Or it's, yeah. Yes. Yeah, if uh, there is something, then uh, this is not <laughs> true. And the superconvolution should uh, include some <laughs> very complicated uh, instant, I mean, network passion function like something, or I don't know, but uh, yeah, but there is no such things. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a, okay. In some sense, good. <laughs> okay. Hmm, okay. So then, uh, observe. Okay, so this is observable in the localization computation. And uh, this case, this canonical uh, localization term becomes. Uh, Only the delta lambda bar dagger Okay, so there is no distance. Oh sorry. Hi, okay. So this epsilon by no okay. Sorry. Oh sorry. Okay. So this includes only the f minus square. So this other point uh southern point is f minus So this is a instant or, or AST connection. OK, so this case, uh, uh, localization saddle point is not just a uh, vacuum, but uh, we need to include uh, uh, AST connection on S1 cross S3. So then, in this case, uh, uh, for this other point, uh, uh, Yami's action is, of course, uh, zero. I mean, trivial. But uh, for that case, uh, the lambda bar equals zero, then So this is a user instant of factor. Okay. 
so this case, uh, including a three-level Lagrangian, it uh, uh, depends on the gauge coupling constant. Okay. So this is uh, for these choices. Okay. Actually, uh, okay. So uh, then I will talk about uh, uh, this this case more uh, uh, more about that, and also then consider the gauge condensation. Actually. Uh, to get the gauge condensation, we need to consider the R3 process or not, I mean, uh, R3 process, and decompact this S3. But uh, this uh, uh, notion can be used. So this is uh, uh, observable, and uh, it becomes a weak coupling uh, instant on computation, I mean. OK. So I will talk about uh, uh, next lecture. So time is up. So thank you very much.